Paul Scholes made his feelings known on Manchester United's transfer pursuit of Bayern Munich centre-back Matthijs De Ligt. De Ligt was identified as a Man United target early on in the transfer window, with the player reportedly eager to move to Old Trafford, allegedly telling his friends that he wanted to complete the move as soon as possible. But while United were previously confident about making the transfer happen, the club hit a roadblock in negotiations with Bayern, specifically over De Ligt's steep £43 million price tag. While an anticlimactic conclusion should United decide to back away from the deal, one club legend who would favour a breakdown in talks is Paul Scholes. Speaking to the overlap, the former United midfielder opened up about his true feelings about the De Ligt transfer race. Manchester United are talking about bringing players in who can't get in their current team, Scholes explained. From Bayern Munich, he has not played for them. That has to be a big concern for me, especially when Eric Dyer is playing in front of him. I'm not joking, that is a massive concern for me. Scholes also expressed his dissatisfaction with the leaked price tag, considering it to be excessive. When you're bringing players in for £40-£50 million just because he played for him three or four years ago. Juventus got rid of him, he wasn't good enough for Juventus. He's obviously not been good enough at Bayern Munich, so he's coming to us as like a second-rate defender now. It wasn't just the leak that Scholes expressed concern over, however. The United legend also expressed a lack of confidence in striker Rasmus Hoyland and new signing Joshua Zerksi. You've also got to look at forward players. Holland, could he score 25 goals for the season? I'd be amazed, Scholes admitted before claiming, when you look at someone like Ivan Tony, if he could come to United if he could score 25. I think he could. While Scholes admitted that he thinks Hoyland is, really good, he added that the Dane has been placed under immense pressure from United, being asked to be the number 9 at his young age. Speaking on Xerxi, Scholes was candid, admitting, I'll be honest, I've never seen him play. He continued, I don't think he's Xerxi, a great goal scorer where he's been, before warning that life will be even tougher for him in the Premier League. For a United legend to come forward and criticize the club's recent transfer decisions is a worrying sign, especially given recent transfer flops including the likes of Antony and Jadon Sancho, both of whom were costly signings. Ultimately, Skull's words will ring loudly in the ears of United fans who will hope that their club can avoid repeating past mistakes as they look to build a strong squad for the future. Manchester United are preparing to make a £25 million bid for Burnley star Sander Burge, according to Team Talk. The Red Devils have been linked with a move for the Norway star in recent times after a move for Paris Saint-Germain star Manuel Ugarte stalled over the gap in valuation between the clubs. A list of potential targets has emerged and is seemingly topped by the championship ace, who is dreaming of a move to Old Trafford after suffering two relegations from the Premier League. Man United prepare bid for Burge. Burnley want £30 million to sell. The Reds have held talks with the Clarets over a deal for the 6 feet 5 international, who has been dubbed as, unbelievable, by John Egan during his time with Sheffield United. Burnley are said to be eyeing a £30 million windfall to allow him to leave, but United are now preparing a £25 million bid including add-ons to convince them to part ways with the 26-year-old. Manchester United are said to be willing to offer him around £100,000 per week to convince him to join, and the club have already received a yes from the player over the move. They now just face a task convincing Burnley to let him leave for less than what they're demanding. The club have also held talks with Monaco for Yusuf Fafana and interest remains in Ugarte, but a deal won't be done for the Uruguay international unless PSG drop their asking price dramatically before the transfer window shuts. Safian Amrabat is another target after his loan spell at Old Trafford last season, with the player waiting on a decision from Ineos Chiefs before deciding to move elsewhere.